Okay, we're going to talk about another kind of annuity, and this is a variable annuity. Now, if you've already watched the other two videos, okay, you know that a fixed index annuity is an interest-bearing account. Um, and depending upon how well the market does, for some years you're going to get more interest than others, and you can also add a rider to it to guarantee a base and take it out in a form of income. Here's how a variable annuity works. You remember when we spoke about the managed money and the brokerage and we spoke about mutual funds? Well, a variable annuity, what that means is that your money that you put in your account can go up or down because it too is, in, your money's invested into mutual fund sub accounts. So when you put in, let's say, you know, $200,000, it's going to go into these, ver these various funds, okay? We're going to call these funds. <laughs> and as the market goes up, your, market's, your, your, your value is going to go up, the market goes down, the value goes down. And they have a pool of funds that you can choose from inside the variable annuity. There's no guarantee on a variable annuity, period. When you die, you get the death benefit of whatever your account value is. The only way there's any kind of guarantee on a variable annuity is if you add a rider to it. Now, there are many different kinds of riders. This is what gets tricky. In a variable annuity, you can have a guaranteed uh, principal, you then guarantee your principal. You can have a withdrawal rider, which guarantees you a certain amount of withdrawal from your account. You can have a roll up, a ratchet, and the list goes on. The bottom line in a variable annuity, and I'll have to just tell you, um, these are very, very complicated accounts. They've been used for years and years and years. Um, but your money is still in the market versus an index annuity. Your money's not in the market. It's just linked to the market. So if the market goes up, you do well or you do okay and the market goes down, you don't lose any money. But a variable annuity is an account where you have mutual fund sub accounts. You put your money in, your money's going to go up with the market and down with the market. There are a lot of fees in here like mortality and expense fees, um, asset fees, sub account fees, and then you have the fees for your riders. And there's death benefit riders. But if you want to have any guarantees in a variable annuity, you're going to have to add a rider to it. And for each rider, there's a cost. Now, in an index annuity, it's just already guaranteed. So this is the difference in a variable annuity and an index annuity. Now, a lot of people come in my office and they say, Sandy, you know, I have a variable annuity and I don't like it. Can I get out of it? Well, sometimes if you've had your variable annuity for a long period of time and you've got like a roll-up rider on it, that might be a really good account to stay, keep hold of because it's going to give you a lifetime income. And if you've had it in there a while, it's had some time to grow. So if it's had a roll-up or a ratchet feature in it, then you might want to keep it. If you don't like it and it's not what you thought it was, which a lot of people have that problem, that's not what they thought it was, sometimes you can move it to an index or upgrade it, but that's just about the numbers. We have to call the company and find out if that would work for you or be best for you. But this is the basis of a variable annuity and that's how that works.